we have a huge update from Boston Dynamics. They just announced their new version of Atlas, and it's actually quite surprising how good this robot is. So we're going to take a look at this robot and dive into exactly why this is going to contribute to the next generation of humanoid robots. Before discussing the depths of their latest reveal, we want you to see it first. Just a day before this release, Boston Dynamics had announced that Atlas had been retired, but what this meant was what most people took wrong. They were retiring the older version as they were working on the new one, which is more agile and can move more freely. With this robot, the company was trying to prove a point. They aimed to demonstrate that even while maintaining a humanoid shape, they could create something that moves like a bipedal robot. The redesigned version boasts swiveling joints, purportedly equipping it to handle mundane, filthy, and hazardous tasks with exceptional capability. In its press release, the company claimed, we designed the electric version of Atlas to be stronger, more dexterous, and more agile. If we compare this version of Atlas with the previous one, without any mincing of words, we can claim that the design of the new Atlas is downright more human-like. It's more like a Tesla Optimus robot, but with longer limbs, a straighter back, and an actual head that can turn around. There are no cables in sight, and the distinctive face comes with a built-in ring light. Off the surface, it's a clear upgrade from its predecessor, packed with Boston Dynamics' latest AI and machine learning tech. It is also pretty evident that the company isn't resting on its laurels. They're taking what they've accomplished with the previous hydraulic Atlas model, like lifting and moving stuff, and pumping it up a notch. Plus, they're dabbling with several new gripper variations to ensure this robot can handle whatever industry throws its way. From the videos Boston Dynamics has released, our main point of interest is the movements it showcased. It is pretty evident that the company is more inclined towards making robots that can do things we cannot do as humans. So, to evaluate our first impressions, why not just analyze how useful each movement showcased in the video could be in real-world settings? Starting from a lying down position was a nice way to show off cool moves like the reverse crab leg trick, but it's also really useful. Just like Boston Dynamics demonstrated with their hydraulic Atlas robot in its goodbye video, failing sometimes happens when you're working, but getting back up quickly is important. Currently, most industrial robots need humans to help them when they mess up, but a robot that can pick itself up and keep working greatly boosts how much work gets done. Being able to change direction quickly is also really helpful for getting more work done. Think about how Agility's digit robots can move around quickly in their demos. They walk to a shelf, turn around, go to the conveyor belt, turn around again, and come back. Doing this task hundreds or even thousands of times a day, every second saved, really adds up to getting more done. Next up, let's talk about the hands. The hands you see in the video aren't new. They've been used on the hydraulic model before. However, they show something important, that the company isn't just copying human hands. Instead of five fingers, they've decided to go with three. This choice shows that they think differently about how robots should look and work. This decision to make two fewer fingers also hails from the fact that human hands are very complex, and mimicking them with motors and actuators is an intellectually intensive task. The company with the three fingers is trying to achieve the best control of the robot's hands. They want the robot's hands to achieve almost everything Thing human hands do, like sensing surfaces, gripping objects, and adapting differently to handle differently shaped objects. The head of the robot cannot move in many ways, but it can make a 360-degree rotation around its neck. Internally, the design team went through a lot of debate over this part of the device. The large, circular display resembled a cosmetic mirror, sparking concern. A member of the team admits it was a contentious element. While other designs leaned towards humanoid shapes, they opted for a unique approach to foster a sense of openness and friendliness. The head not only houses sensors, but also aims to convey a welcoming demeanor, which is crucial for the future when human interactions with devices become way more common. Boston Dynamics also reduced the turn radius of this robot for all the right reasons. Making the robot able to turn more sharply is important, especially in small spaces. These robots are made to fit into places already being used for work. Being able to move more easily could be the deciding factor between working in a space or changing changing how things are set up. Suppose humanoid robots fail to gel effortlessly into current industrial units. In that case, 
businesses will have to spend a lot of money on the infrastructure to turn their robotic process automation dream into a reality. The humanoid robotics sector is becoming more and more competitive every passing day. It is good to know that Boston Dynamics is keeping an eye on the ongoing changes in the current landscape. The CEO highlights three key events that have sparked interest in their field. The acquisition by Hyundai, Tesla's interest in manufacturing, and the rise of AI as a tool for solving complex problems are the events that became the impetus in his opinion. He emphasized the importance of patience with which the company proceeds. According to him, this patience has given them a sustainable competitive advantage. He stressed that they waited to announce their progress until they were constantly confident in their ability to solve manipulation problems with a new generation of machines. He also mentioned that despite the company's lead in humanoid robots, the company assembled the first build of their new robot around Christmas 2023 after working through all the complex problems they encountered during the simulation phase. Boston Dynamics' next goal is to test the feasibility of its creation in real industrial settings. They will be handing these robots over to a selective first few customers over the next few years, with Hyundai being the first in line. The company's competitors, like Figure, and Aptronic are also checking the feasibility of their creations in the industry as they are testing them out on production lines for big companies like BMW and Mercedes. Based on the company's experience, the CEO also highlights that the key to making swift progress is to concentrate on a specific application and actively tackle its challenges. He added that Boston Dynamics does not rely on others to solve their problems. Instead, the company takes initiative and addresses them themselves. He claimed that having a general-purpose humanoid robot is still far-fetched because these systems currently scale one task at a time. Looking at the view, it's pretty clear that the new Atlas brings up a wide array of new possibilities. Atlas will prove to be a powerhouse for getting stuff done in industries. It can handle everything from mundane tasks to super tricky ones that need precision and flexibility. That means it's perfect for the dirty, dangerous jobs humans would rather avoid, like heavy lifting, assembly line work, or maintenance in places where it's hazardous to even breathe. But wait, there's more. Researchers and tech nerds are all over Atlas because it's like a playground for testing out new ideas in robotics and AI. They're using it to cook up better algorithms, sensors, and control systems, pushing the boundaries of what these machines can pull off. Think advanced machine learning models that make Atlas a pro at navigating tricky environments and interacting with the world around it. In a pinch, like during a disaster, Atlas can swoop in and be a real hero. It's mobile and adaptable, so it's perfect for searching for survivors or delivering crucial supplies in places where it's too risky for humans to tread. With the simple addition of some sensors and cameras on it, it can become a lifesaver with the power to scan collapsed buildings for any signs of life. Now, here's where things get sticky. The military. Older versions of the Atlas had caught the eye of strategic departments and it did cause quite a stir. Boston Dynamics has had some serious funding from the military for their robot projects. They swear up and down they're not aiming for military use. But let's face it, the potential is there. Whether it's cool or creepy depends on who is being asked and what kind of rules they decide to deploy it under. Lastly, let's not forget about the fun stuff. Atlas can quite easily catch eyeballs with its fancy moves. Firms and stores might use it to market their products and other offerings. Just a year or two down the line, it shouldn't be intriguing if we find Atlas serving as coffee. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and updates. We've also made videos on other humanoids like the Figure 1 and Tesla Optimus. To find out which robot can pull the most, watch those videos by clicking on the video links popping up. We'll catch you there in a second. See ya!